KTL exclusive. Sakari. Uh. Young was out there, wasn't so deep, but the waters was not clear. Dose of Babylon created all of the fakes here, but when the meds use it, you know it's a snake here. That's why I couldn't hold most clothes. Mama's whole tissue, cause on their son, the nose blow. Man of perdition has the hood up in a chokehold. My ice cream when I saw my own on snow cones. Yeah, yeah, traumatized, I will forever be. I am so close to my God, they try to sever me. Yeah, that blood is thicker, but that water been blessing me. It's real my nation, but that wisdom is my pedigree. I was trying to figure my identity to better me remember when my daddy wasn't messing with me uh -huh. to israel to israel to israel so the purpose of jesus dying is to give repentance to israel yes, right so why was john 3 the only verse that christians was able to quote that's right and right. not knowing the understanding, the proper understanding of John 3 16. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that it's the word that outside. God is referring to is the word of Israel. Right. So all over the Bible, all over the New Testament, it tells you that Jesus died for the children of Israel. Let me ask you believe in the Trinity also? Or no? You believe in the Trinity. Is the Trinity in the Bible? Say it's one. So, why do you believe that? Spirit, but it's one. Oh, wait, I called you. So, is there a verse in the Bible you can show us that the Trinity exists? Bring it out. This is Revelation 3 and 12. Him that overcometh will, will I make a pillar in the temple of, of my God. This is Jesus speaking. He said, look, if you overcome, I'll make you a pillar in the temple of my God. So now, do you believe God has a God? But Jesus said he has a God. That's right. So, he has a God. But it's one. How can God... Okay, let me ask it's you this. Three, but one, if that makes sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Make sense. Oh. One plus one plus God one equals three. That's right. But it's one. It's not like three separate Okay, God. okay, it's okay. One. Give me that. They shall be one as as the father because yeah this is what you're referring to right you get me john chapter four now let me ask you that does god worship anybody can god worship anybody no all right so let's see matter of fact i want you to follow along with us john chapter four yeah go to john chapter four john chapter four verse 22. I want you to read. Uh, read it again. We worship what we know for salvation is from him. We wor you worship what you do not know. We worship what we know for salvation is from the Jews. Jesus said we worship what we know. So now if Jesus is God, how can Jesus, how can God worship anybody? Right. I mean, it's not going to change the fact that Jesus worshiped God. You got that testimonial too? Give me that. Right, this is John 8 and 17. It is also written in your law. That it is also what? It is written in your law. Also written in the law that the testimony of two men is true. So what's this? I want you to follow along with me, right? So this is Jesus speaking. You say read it from the top. It is also written in your law that the testimony of men it, of two men. Right. The testimony of two. How many fingers I got up? <laughs> two, right? So it says the testimony of two is true. I am I am one that bear witness of myself. Jesus is one that bear witness. One of those two read. And the Father that sent me bear witness of me. And the Father is the other. The other two, right? Right, so now, if Jesus and the Father is one, in the same, 
How can he say, look, he's one witness and the father is another witness? That bear witness of his testimony. I lost you. I lost you. It says, the testimony of two witness shall stand. Jesus and the Father, right, are two that bear witness. So, it's two testimonies that bear witness. So, it's two different people. Right. Right. You understand? Right. So, it's crazy. This is John 17 and 22 in the TPT translation. Read three and then John. Uh, uh, verse three. Okay. This is verse three. It says, and this is life eternal. This is life eternal. Read. That they may know thee, the, on, the only true God. Oh, what? The, the, the only, only true God. God. What? The, the only true God. God. So Jesus said, God, the Father, is the only true God. That's right. True. And Jesus, whom thou hast sent, the only true God in Jesus, whom he sent. Read. This is verse 22 in the TPT translation. For the very glory you have given to me, I have given them, so that they will be joined together as one and experience the same unity that we enjoy. So, so yeah, the, Jesus and the Father, they have a unity. That's the, the Father and Jesus is one. Also, once we join ourselves to the Father and Jesus, we're going to be one with them also. Right. We're going to be in harmony. We're going to speak the same thing, right. believe the same thing, right. and hate and love the same thing. That's what it means to be one. Jesus is one with the Father. It's not talking about this. One God and three different beings. No. Yeah, Jesus is a God, but he's not the most high God. You understand? Jesus is a God, but he's not the most high God. You don't agree. That's the Father. The Father is the only true God. What you said, and that's not what the verse said. Right. But you guys are saying that like Jesus is a God, but then no God is like Right. Jesus worships the Father. Jesus has a God. God, the Most High God, does not worship anyone, and He has no one above Him. Give me 1 Corinthians 15. Read. Come on, this is John 10, 34. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. Right, so there's many gods. That's right. You believe there's many gods. But we worship one God. Right, right. And that's the Father. Tr the Trinity is idolatry. That's right. So it's replacing the true God, the true image of the Heavenly Father, which makes no sense. I'm, now, give me a bet. I'm about to show you something. Yeah. So now you say it's three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? Yeah? All right, so we're going to see. But it's like one body. It's not like three separate. But... So God has one spirit. Okay, you said the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're gonna see what the Bible says. Give me Revelation, Revelation 3 and 1. Now we have a problem now. So you say it's only the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now read. This is uh Revelation 3 and 1. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, these things saith he that hath seven spirits of God. What? Seven spirits of God. right. These, these things saith he that hath the 
seven spirits of God. So now, Revelation 3 and 1 says, Jesus possessed the seven spirits of God. So, I thought it was God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so you got to add seven more. Mm. Or six more. Right? You see the problem? So there's no trinity. Right. Right. It tells you God has seven spirits. Right. And these seven spirits, it tells you what these seven spirits represent. Right. In the book of Isaiah. Read. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 5 and 6. Bring it out. For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven. So they say there's, there's, there be that called gods. Read. Gods, in, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be many. As there, as there be gods many. There's gods many. There's many gods. Read. And lords many. But to us. But to us. There is but one God. Is what? There, there is, is but, but one God. God. But to us, there's one God, read. The Father. Uh, who? The, the Father. Father. The Father is the one God, read. Uh, Not the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, read. Right. Of whom are all things, and we in Him, uh -huh. and one Lord, and, what? and one, one Lord. Lord. Now we have one Lord, read. Jesus Christ. So we have the God the Father and we have a Lord under him that's Jesus. Okay. This is John 17 and verse did you read it right? 21? Verse, verse, tw verse 20, 21. That they all may be one as thou Father are in me and I in thee that they also may be one in us. So once we join to the Most High, we start following His commandments and accepting and believing, we're going to become one to the Father also. Right. You understand? So, get, come up with souls in the Council of Nicaea. Right? Because you got to understand where the Trinity came from. Right? It was not... It was made up. All right. The Most High didn't see how there's three notes. The Most High has His Son, right, which is who's under Him, who He's gonna give dominion to rule this earth. He's gonna give Him kingdoms, nations to serve Him, and the Most High sit in His throne. Read. Now this is uh, Judges 20 and 11. So all the men of Israel were gathered against the city, knit together as one man. Right, so if we're in one, the same mind, we're one. Right, just like all of us up here, we're one. So we speak the same thing, right? If he speaks, that's me speaking. Right, because you're not going to say nothing I'm not going to tell you. Right? So now, you got that first verse 15? So you still believe in the Trinity? Even after these verses came out. I understand. I understand that. But these are scriptures you got to take down. You got to write these things down because guess what? The, the scripture also say Christ is the mediator between God and man. Yes or no? So, if he's the mediator between God and man, how can he be God? It don't make no sense. <laughs> right, you can't be the middle man and the sales man at the same time. You understand? Read this. First Corinthians 15 and uh, 15. God is it? Put all things under him, uh -huh. and when all things shall be subdued un unto him, uh -huh. then shall the Son also be subject unto him. So after the Most High God put everything under Christ, Christ also gonna be subject to the Most High God. Right. 
You understand? Read, read the last part again. Wait, say the verse. Call the verse out. First Corinthians 15 and verse 20, 26 to 28. Uh, uh, verse, this is verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son of the Son also be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. So once God gave Jesus all the power, all the rulership, Jesus also got to be submit to the Father too. You understand? So now, write down these verses. We went to first, we went to uh, John chapter 17, verse. Thou hast oh Hebrews 1 and 9. Get out. Thou hast loved. Start at, start at 8. Verse 8. So now, like I said, Jesus is a God. Alright, just like we are the children of Israel, the men are gods. God, the most high God, calls Jesus a God verbatim. We're, we're gonna read it. Read it. Hebrews 1 and 8. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God. So this is the most high God speaking to Jesus. He say, Thy throne, O God. He's referred to Jesus as a God, read. Is forever and ever. He say your throne, the throne I'm giving you is forever and ever. Because remember in 1 Corinthians 15, they say he's gonna give him dominion over everything. And once he's given that power, also the son gotta be subject to the father, read. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, so God calling him therefore God, even thy God, even your God, so he's saying, look, your God, you also have a God, I'm your God, we have anointed thee. So God said, look, I'll anoint you as God, as, as, as king of the earth. You understand? Right, so three. This is he uh this is Hebrews 5 and 12 in the TBT. For you should already be professors instructing others by now, but instead you need to be taught from the beginning the basics of God's prophetic oracles. Right, so you understand that. So we gotta relearn everything. Because like I said, we were lied to. Right? We grew up in lies and we we were also taught that. Do not, don't keep the commandments of God. Right. We were taught the Old Testament is done away. We don't keep the commandments always, old days, no. The Most High laws is not imperfect. The Most High created the laws of God. The Most High created the laws we must be kept. We must kept, keep it. You understand? All right, so now let's read the Council of Nicaea. This is the Council of Nicaea. And it says the topics were Arianism and the nature of Christ. Oh, no. that's, right. So that's what the, the topic was, right? So uh, different church fathers came together and to debate the topic on the nature of Christ. The Council of Nasir in 325 stated the crucial formula that that doctrine in its confession that the Son is quote unquote of the same substance. So that is it 300 AD, right? 325. 20, 325, right? So this is when the doctrine of the Trinity came to existence. 325 AD. That's years after Christ died. Because we're also one with God too. Right. Right. Right? So you gotta understand. So now. So you get you have, you have a proper understanding, right? So you took down the verses and all praise for no time, right? Wait, where can I find the guys on YouTube? Oh, forgive me the Type in Shakari and Jinawa. This is Matthew 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may inhabit? Read it from the top of it. Read, read. Matthew 19 and 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Now, what must we do? What must you do to have eternal life? Right. What do you? How can you go to heaven? How can you have eternal life? What is the recipe to be in the kingdom of heaven? 
What is sin? What what is sin? What is sin that I must repent from? Sin. So, according to the Bible, sin is breaking God's law. Like like you said, adultery is also against God's laws, right? Right. So this is the definition of sin. Read First John three and four. Whosoever commits sin transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's law. Breaking God's laws, that's what sin is. And where are the laws of God found? Right? Mainly the first five books. That's right. Right? So these are the laws we must get. Right. Right? All of them. Not some, not not a few. Not what we feel like, not what the church tells us to do, right. but tonight, but all of them. Could have been in no way. We sing the gospel, not talking, Kurt Frank. It's about God at the end of the day. We working. I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it. Yeah, we working. I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it. Whoa, whoa, it's a car in the building. We ain't sorry.